Hi everybody, Greg Russ with you at the finish here on Facebook of round one of the BF Goodrich Australian Off-Road Championship in St George and what a day we have had. The top ten has seven side-by-side -side competitors in it. It's been a real talking point here and it's been a day of a bit of heartbreak but also some tenacity to come back and we'll talk to the winners very, very shortly before the podium gets underway. Let's go to fifth place firstly. Luke Shadbolt, well done. You guys in the side-by-sides getting a top five result here at the, the St George 3, uh, 399. Yeah, no, it was a pretty good weekend. We weren't expecting like this is our first ever off-road race in four wheels basically. So uh, I've been on two wheels for the last... 20 years and sick of breaking bones so yeah we've gone for cage for a, for a change so yeah no nah. what does that mean in terms of you know getting this result that's a oh, great start yeah no nah, it's a good start obviously we had no mechanicals so that's a big part too obviously a bit of beginner's luck i'd say but uh yeah no nah, can't complain at all it's getting a bit chattery and dusty out there but that's racing isn't it car was okay towards the end yeah no nah, it was going good we didn't have any dramas at all so yeah no nah. No, no problems at all. Well done to you, Alan Henson, and all of the of the team here, guys. Congratulations. No worries. No worries. Top, Thank you. Top five result. We'll move on here because Team Taylor. Here they are. <laughs> team Taylor Racing, one of the legends of the game, Nev and his son Ryan. Top four today, and uh, must have been tantalisingly close. The thought of a podium there at one point. Yeah, yeah, we were definitely going for it, but um, yeah, we we're pushing hard, but just trying to. Obviously, we wanted to get to the finish, and uh, so it was a bit of a fine line. Uh, we knew the podium was close, but um, yeah, we still wanted that finish, so we we're pretty happy with that. What were the words of wisdom from the from the passenger seat? Was it go for it? Was it let's just you know stay a little bit calm here and we might creep up on something in terms of a result? Just do what we were doing, um, keep it out of the trees and they just get home. That, 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 you know, finish first, first you must finish and that's the moral of the story. This car sounds unbelievable when they unleash it. I think your words to me this morning where it's got a mild six litre in it but it's uh, it's got a, you know some great off-road heritage doesn't it? Yeah it certainly does, um, it just came into the country um, late last year uh, as an ex-Harley Lettner car. Legend. Uh, definitely legend and um, yeah so we we're fortunate enough to, to pick that one up and uh, get over here and race the, um, the AORC and looking forward to going to Fink because as you could probably tell it um, handles the rough stuff pretty well so looking forward to getting amongst it out there. This is a real family affair, I think your son, he, there was no way he was going to miss this event was No, it? no, no, he, no I, could, I couldn't do that to him, it was get out, get out of school and then uh, come out off road racing so he wouldn't let me leave without him. So quickly, you pack up from here and it's all about, I guess, prep, getting stuff organised. When do you hit the road and head to Fink? Uh, well, we, get, we take it back, motor and gearbox out Tuesday, sent away, and the week before Fink, we, we head off on the Saturday, drive out to Fink and, mate, have a blast. Best, best thing ever. I cannot wait. It's uh, If you've not seen it, if you've not been there before, it's kind of the Bathurst of off-road racing. It's a real mecca. Top four result for you guys yep. here in St George. We wish you all the very best at Fink. Yep. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Love your work. Nice, to, yeah. nice to see and chat with the guys. Let's wander around here because the podium isn't far off uh, off starting. And we're going to wander over and talk to the top three finishers. So we'll sneak across the, the bunting, excuse me, here for a second. This area is where the spectators have enjoyed what's called the Baker's Dozen this weekend. They're like motocross work and they've flown across. We've had a couple of incidents, I should point out too, but the, the competitors involved are all OK. Check out the trophies, all set to be delivered to the different outright winners, the different class winners here in St George, round one of the championship. And here's our top three cars positioned uh, over the back here. And as I mentioned before, side-by-sides really strongly represented. So Phil Lovett, who's got his back to us here at the moment has ended up in the top three listen no free, plugs, no free plugs no free plugs well done <laughs> and there was a bit of a nail biter toward the end there wasn't it oh i don't know i was going all right you I... were going fine i know but we were all glued to the timing why you think i was going to do something special? no not at all <laughs> we, we we know how much experience you you've got and we know there was quite a battle going on up front so you were well placed well, weren't you well i thought they were uh, you know i was i was happy that that the Shannon and that was away in front of me off the start there for this last three laps and um, because that just left me clear air to, to do what I wanted to do. I know I had a big buggy behind me and, and so that pushed me along a bit. Our belt got a bit bit warm in the last lap so we had to back it down a bit and I see him, he'd pulled a, probably a couple of seconds on us and where we where we swapped some places sort of thing and uh, so I had to sort of keep pedalling fairly hard so I was planning on going out there and having a cruisy run on that last last three <laughs> laps but sort of with having a big buggy behind me it sort of uh, that, that, that wasn't the case so I don't know it's a she's a fun event sort of like I say it, it's uh, it, 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 I know the big buggies don't want to come here but if, if without without the golf buggies here this weekend well then there wouldn't have been enough entries.
Great, it was a great lineup, and a, you know, side by side is really well represented, as, as oh, we said. Oh, <laughs> no, you can't it's say that. You well, can't that's say that. Shannon told me. And so I told Shannon I'm going back to golf tomorrow with well, the golf buggy. Now, listen, your crew were kept busy this weekend. You had a couple of CV issues. Yeah. You reckon you can get on top of that before Fink? Yeah, I think we'll get some limit straps and, and put them in. Robbie, Robbie, the main engineer for the for the team, and, and he is the team. Paul, myself, and Robbie, and. Um, so, yeah, we'll get it fixed up for Fink. It'll be right. Great stuff. On the podium in St George, congratulations to you and all the team. No worries. Thank you. There he is. Man, who's a bit of a legend on two-wheel terms in uh, in Fink and will be competing, of course, in side-by-side. Side. Here's your winner. Uh, the Wrench family were tenacious today in pursuit of that win. Eight-time champion in this sport. That's a great way to start the bid for number nine. Yeah, it was good, yeah. It's always good to get up to a good start in the championship, especially travelling far, so far from a long way from home here. So it's... You know, all the efforts we've put in uh, paid off for us. So Shannon, what was today like for you? Because dust was an issue yesterday. You were pretty determined, if you could, to, to claw back to try and find a way past Toby Waitley, if you could, but it was quite a battle, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, yeah, sort of sort of played catch up after Saturday, really. Um, but yeah, to you know, the UTVs are really quick in them tighter sections. I knew Toby was going to be hard to get past, but yeah, luckily enough, we, we um, got past him in the first lap and then had a clean track, so sort of pushed pretty hard and just tried to make up some time but we lost out on yesterday. The car looks like it is going to leave St George in perfect condition for Fink. It's, it, I mean, that's the ideal prep for the big one, isn't it? Yeah, I wish we I wish it, we could just put it in the truck and roll up <laughs> Dallas and race it, but now I've got a lot of work to do when we get home. And, and um, But you know, it is good, it's all in one piece and no damage, so it's... Um, shouldn't um, be too many late nights. What's it mean to you, to your dad, to all your family who are here this weekend to win this one in St George? Yeah, no, it's always good going away. Um, we sort of go away as a family and always have a good time, but to win, you know, always go home with a smile on your face. Um, it's always always good. So, no, we had a good weekend here and um, definitely, yeah, a bit we've got some confidence heading into Fink. Go and enjoy it up there. Congratulations on the win here this weekend. Thank you. Cheers. We will continue to tell the story because going into it, this young man here and his team had a lead of more than three minutes. And it was a, an unbelievable performance, really. From the moment we saw what you did in the prologue, you led on Saturday, you continued that to the halfway point on Sunday. Toby Waitley, you were gutted, I guess, with five Ks to go or thereabouts. What went wrong today? Oh, look, we had a bit of an issue with the fuel pump pumping the fuel, so we almost ran out of fuel, so I sort of tried to back off and run eco mode and do what I could to get to the finish line um, and also flat tyre, but that's all part of it, so it's good fun. How did you feel? Because, it, you know, it did look as though we were in for a history-making moment here today, mate, that a side-by-side -side might take an outright win in the Australian Championship. That would have been a huge thing. Yeah, look, it's, it's heartbreaking, but like I said, it's Shannon Wrench, eight-time champion, and to come second to that is... And like Can Am is good, like I'm happy with that. So. Your driving was dynamite this weekend too, mate. It was a joy to watch you out there. At one point you said to me you thought the car felt like there was maybe an issue, it felt a bit dull or something, but in fact it was quite the opposite. It was flying. Yeah, I, I wasn't quite used to it, but yeah, it's going well. It's it was flying, so I'm really happy with how it went. What can you do from here as far as the launch pad is concerned for the for the remainder of the year? I know you would love the win, but second is still mighty good to walk away from St George with, isn't it? Yeah, second's good. You got us a lot of points for the championship. Um, but yeah, we'll head into Fink and do some prep on the car, and hopefully we'll come away with something good there too. Give so, it heaps up there, mate. Oh, won't for you? sure, give us some curry. Yeah, I'm sure we'll give it some curry. There's no doubt about that. Okay, we're going to wrap things up here on Facebook. A reminder, of course, to stay in touch with the BF Goodrich Australian Off-Road Championship Facebook page and the official website for all the latest news and information as we count down to the Mecca now, the big one. Think, of course, in early June. It's one you won't want to miss. This is uh, Rusty wrapping up things from round one of the Off-Road Championship.